beta testers. Lara Croft confirmed gay for new Unreal Engine 5 game. Whoa. How stunning and brave. What a Last of Us 2 direction to go in. Crystal Dynamics, the untalented hacks behind the disastrous and still buggy Avengers game, DMCA'd a podcast that read a leaked script for their upcoming Tomb Raider game, codenamed Project Jawbreaker. And in so doing, they have proven its validity. Lara Croft will apparently struggle with loneliness and team up with a team of Tomb Raiders to avenge the death of her like ability, having seen it mercilessly destroyed at the hands of criminal crystal dynamics. I wonder if they'll be intelligent enough to put Lara in shorts and allow her to use the dual pistols like actual fans might love to see her. If I may be so bold as to make my impressions of crystal turd dynamics apparent, they've showcased their inability to do anything financially intelligent. Fortnite would never deliberately avoid including the iconic look that springs to mind in, in fans' hearts when they think of this character, but I, I guess Crystal is so busy trying to signal to everybody that they, uh, they finally have a gay protagonist that, uh, you know, they about to drop this up, if you know what I'm talking about. Nearly druck it up. I keep wanting to show off how buggy the cancer that they called a game with Marvel's Avengers is even today. Bugs, crashes, stalls, impossible to complete missions and therefore impossible to attain trophies. But again, this matters little to people trying to pander and trick gay people into buying their game that they're desperately searching for talented people to make for them. I'm sure the females who have no friends and assume only cis people like attractive people in their escape media that they purchase to de-stress in between the work that they do, that they'll be fired for not fulfilling the obligations that come with their job, is wild. Not everybody live in so luxurious a life that they can get by sucking on the job. That's not punching down. Some of y'all are terrible at what you do, Crystal Dynamics developers. Y'all punching at the air that in the end money mattered, so you had to slide some juicy booty bikini Black Widow skins into your Marvel's Avengers game the way you should have when it first came out, you know? Maybe a leotard isn't evil, it's like so sexy. It needs to be more modern. Can Lara have a bikini when the game comes out? You guys, you guys gonna set that up? Or at least something similar to what made her the dominating goddess that fans online can't stop worshipping? Or will fans have to keep begging you for the bare minimum? Mm. Dia said something really wonderful to me. She said she always regarded Lara Croft as someone who is married to her work. And I gleefully explained that in true CW fashion, the current writers no longer see Lara Croft as Tomb Raider. She is Lara Croft, lonely lesbian. Write what you know, am I right? <laughs> Since Daddy Epic is filling that tomb with a functional engine this time around, I think we should address how dated Lady Lara actually is. It's not, it's not modern enough, in, in my opinion. It's not woke enough. If you ask me, Lara Croft can keep the tomb, but she need to ditch the womb. Man Tomb Raider, Lawrence Croft. Or would that come too close to the superior Uncharted series? The, the one that actually evolved the way that this franchise would or should have in the hands of more talented people. Something tells me there won't be any shorts. Not without some hair pulling among the devs. Something tells me that they're going to need to crank the dual pistols to appeal to nostalgia. Because this Tomb Raider, this squad of Tomb Raiders, is going to suck. You know what I'm talking about? And with some of the names I saw in the script, 
boy, Crystal Dynamics is reaching like college brochure levels of cultural inclusion. You know what I mean? I hope there's a Tomb Raider in a wheelchair. You know what I'm talking about? That'll make a lot of sense as far as the story is concerned. But it's worth it. It's worth it to include and represent the differently abled. Doesn't matter how well a person in a wheelchair can spelunky. This is fantasy. And you should reflect whatever you want it to. Unless it's cool. Because that would be fucked up, right? Because the writers lead and and have only been gifted with lonely, sad experience in their life. And they consume trash as well. So that's, you know, they're, they're taking the lazy, easy way. Because they've been taught to take shortcuts in writing. And try to, make pe- try to make the audience feel bad for somebody. Jesus Christ. It's like flatter than anime writing with none of the style and none of the fan service. Anime without fan service and style. Whoa! You know, I'm only amused. I'm invested because of how colossal an L-shaped stillborn Marvel's Avengers was and is. After telling lies about microtransactions to trick consumers, the way you're pandering now, hoping to secure the, oh, please buy our game, gay people. You nerfed the XP, though. You charged for boosters. You went back on your promises. And if you've done it before, you'll do it again. Aren't there still broken achievements in other Tomb Raider games? Come on. What are you, what are you thinking? Keep ignoring these players, which dumbass. <laughs> oh, my God. Beta testers, I love you, thank you, like the video, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, but to any Crystal Dynamics employees who may be scouring uh, on that damage control, I offer you this free bit of insight. Watch the stupid shit you say. You have exhausted the amount of times that you could play victim and have people do anything but release you. It's amusingly hypocritical. When your devs message random people online, blaming them for your shortcomings, only for you losers to play victim after ignoring people, the the same people you need to make your lazy trash a success. This leak is the best thing that could have happened to Crystal Dynamics. Because if anyone big dicked enough can grab the wheel, Maybe they can steer this in a less disastrous direction before it's too late. Or you could just jump online and tell everybody that they're wrong as usual. That worked out really well for Neil Druckmann. They, they having a real easy time marketing their $70 re-remake, right? Yeah. Hmm. That's the good one, too. That's the first Last of Us. People don't hate that one. Wow. But uh, I don't know. I think we all know what you're going to do. And we wait with bated breath. Love you again, everybody. Take it easy. Hey, Dia, say something to close out the video. I can't wait for Laura Croft, who I thought was was married to her job, to be married to a lady now. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be a brown lady, too. Can't have her marrying no, uh, a light-skinned person. That would. That's not woke enough. You know, it's not woke enough. Why aren't these people just writing for the CW? You know?